Hi guys, it's Becky, and it is the day after Thanksgiving, so it is finally time for me to be turning my attention towards Christmas. And this is the part of the video where if I had a music budget, you'd hear Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas playing. But since I don't, let's just let it play in our heads since that's where it's going to be living for the next month and a half anyway. But a little while ago, uh, Beadbox Bargains had a bundle and that's what this is and I'm going to open it up. I've been saving it for now um, because I just wasn't ready to move on to Christmas yet. But now that we've had turkey and I had pie for breakfast and everything is good, I'm ready to move on to Christmas and get some of that going. So I'm going to be opening this up and um, we are going to sort it into my favorite organizers. And I also had picked up a few extra things. You can kind of see they're a little bit Christmassy. Um, that I'm going to open up and add to this when I do that. This was a uh, part of the order that I, I did. I was like, let's just throw these in there so we can have some fun. Um, I know this weekend they are having like a, a big old Black Friday sale. Uh, I missed the opportunity to uh, grab some of their doorbusters. Um, but uh, a lot of things are going to be on sale. Um, so some of the things that I pull out of this bundle may have sold out by the time you get to the site. Um, but if they haven't, they're probably going to be at a steep discount compared to what I purchased them for. So I'll just go through what I've got. Um, I'll go through the kit first and then I'll pull out my extras. Or wait, wait, wait. No, let's pull out my extras first because I'll do the kit second and then we'll get it organized. But um, some of the things that I, I grabbed when I was doing that, they had some chain um, on sale and I really wanted to grab some chain in a few different colors um, because I like having chain handy. All right, let me pull out the chain. Oh, and these were my extras. They always send a freebie with your order. And these will probably go very nicely with the rest of everything. But for the chain that I got, I just want to show you the, the chain before we get into all the, the Christmas flavored things. Um, I got some antique copper chain. Like this is some Rolo chain. It looks really cool. And honestly, I think this would be a great base for like a charm bracelet. To have that, you've got these big links that you can attach charms to. But it's a, it's kind of a textured chain. It's got some of those links there. Um, this is also antique copper and it looks like I got two of them. Are they the same? I believe they are the same. Okay, one is kind of darker than the other. How did I do that? This one is bronze. It's the same type of chain with the, the textured wire. And this is the bronze color. Which I think is great and perfect and beautiful. I just, I like the, the thick chains. I think they add a lot of um, dimensionality to a piece. Like sometimes you can... Um, you know, having the smaller chains can give more like sleekness to a piece, but like the, the thicker chains just give you more statement, more impact, I think. And this one was rose gold, which one of our more recent boxes had rose gold findings and I was just all about that. It was such a great glowy color, warm. And fun. And again, I don't know if you guys can see the texture on these chains. I think you can see it a little bit better on this one than you could on the antique copper one. And then another one in silver. Well, it's not really silver. It's more like stainless steel. But it's pretty, pretty good chains. So I got... 
I got several chains. They'll go into my findings area. And then I got some of these smaller chains. This one's gunmetal. And it is also a textured chain, but it's much, much smaller. So, you can see there. Then this one is just a gold chain. Well, you can kind of see it there. I don't need to pull it out. And then this one is a rose gold curb chain. And those are the, the chains and findings that I got. And I was like, okay, let's let's grab some of these. Let's let's have some fun with them. Um, and this was something that I grabbed because there's a recent sorry, a recent bead box that was like Sun Moon Stars from uh, Sam's. And I wanted to grab this. It's got blue goldstone as the Thing. I thought this pendant would be great to use with some of those other pieces at some point. Maybe, if not, I will add it into the mix and maybe pull it out at a future date. We'll see. Um, I actually have some other blue goldstone that I could use this with in a piece. Um, okay, and then some of these others, again, because I was looking at Christmassy things, this these are some Czech glass. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, I get... Where's the other... Where's the red one? Oh, it fell down. Okay. So there were these bicone mixes. There's red and green. And I got each of them. They're four millimeter bicones and they're just different colors of those and I grabbed those because it Christmassy stuff. And then we've got some more of these lacy teardrops. And this one is opaque coral with a silver shimmer. Let me pull it out of the bag so it's much easier to see. Oop. I'm just trying to get the, the light better. got those and then we've got the I got some royal blue with gold Hawaiian beads I don't know if I'll be adding this to the Christmas mix or not but I like the deep dark blue it goes with you know some other blues that I've got in my stash um, and I've been putting together kind of like a silver icy blue kind of my own bundle by making little purchases um, every now and again. So like these ones are a really, really light kind of icy blue color. And I'll show you guys that um, when I actually start making from it. All right. And then we've got some leaf pendants. Where are my leaf pendants? I just had that. They're over here. Yeah. So these leaf pendants I thought were gorgeous when I saw them. So I grabbed them. They are 39 by 23. They're antique silver. And I love them because there's so much texture on them. Like all the leaf veins coming across them. And I thought they would make a gorgeous pair of earrings. Um, even just by themselves, they'd be a fantastic pair of earrings. And I might like add a little, maybe a carnelian bead or something above them. Um, just to give it a little more like fall vibe. So I got these. There are just the two of them in that. I'm going to set those aside because they're not going to be in with my Christmassy things like these other things things will be. Um, and then we had the Santa Claus and sleigh links. They're links, not charms. So you've got one up 
above and one down below. So these would probably be really fun components in an earring or a bracelet or even a necklace for that. Um, and then we had some snowflake charms. And uh, the colors that we have in this bundle are mostly gold. But you know what? I could probably add these to my like icy blue bundle that I'm putting together myself. And like they're just really cool charms in here. And there aren't two of all of them. Like this one is a singleton. It's really pretty. Uh, it looks like we've got one, two, three of this kind right here. We've got two of these, two of these, one of these. one of these one each of all of these it's like each of these single ones would probably be fantastic in a charm bracelet and then these other ones I would probably, with the two of them, use them in some earrings. This might be a nice earring and necklace combo, since there's three of them. But that that's a really fun little mix of snowflake charms. It's $21.95 if you wanted to find that. Um, all right, and then there's the pinecone leaves and berries pendant. And there's one of these. Sorry, it hangs like that. I thought that was a fun pendant. And then... There's this gingerbread Christmas snowflake pendant. And there may these may exist in the Christmas shop that they have open. They've got a whole sub, sub, sub section for that. Um, that's where I found these. I just kind of went down the list and picked some of the ones that I liked when I was grabbing my bundle. And then a little mistletoe sprig. All right, and then I believe where's my I'm trying to find the list on the the packing list for this, but it's it's pine cone beads. And they're kind of like this dark alabaster color. All right. So those are the things that came outside of the bundle. Now for the actual bundle bundle. I'm going to be going through the list. Everything that is a kit item. Came in here. And this is the country Christmas bundle is what they called it. I am sure they're going to be putting together more Christmassy bundles as time progresses and as they have fallout from, from the different uh, the shops. Um, they'll probably be putting the bundles together after they get done with the, uh, the Black Friday stuff. I know there's going to be 
probably a bundle to go with the last bead box. They usually put that up on the same date that they put bead box extras up. So if you get the email for the bead box extras, watch your email and go check and look for the bundle at that point and see if you can snag one. They sell out really quickly when they do that. All right, so let's go. So there's several items in here. This is all from that bundle. Let's go through them and get them organized in my handy dandy organizer. All right. And I like to put my bead boxes in this 15 grid organizer. Um, sometimes I need to use a larger one and then I'll use an 18 grid one, but I'm gonna see if it'll all, probably all fit within this 15 grid organizer. It's got these little removable things, so if I need more room in one of these for a longer strand or something with larger beads, I can do that. And I might have to do that with this strand. But let's go down the list. We've got some fancy Jasper rounds. Um, and remember, we had some of this fancy Jasper in one of the most recent bead boxes. And so we've got the fancy Jasper with all of these different colors of green and some orange and a little bit of red. With that, I'm going to get this unstrung. And in one of these pockets. Oh, well that was real fun. Come on, divider guy, stay down. Next thing on the list are some bead caps. We've got, are these them? Yep, these are four point bead caps in antique gold. You can see it has four points. And this was a 10 gram bag of these bead caps. Gonna stick them there. We've got a strand of fasted rondelles. Where's our rondelle strand? There they are. The evergreen color. So very Christmassy. Next one are some pressed glass star beads. There we go. And they are in crystal lemon rainbow. So you can see the yellowy color on that. Love that. Love that. That is really cool. And then we've got some pressed glass dropped beads and these are etched opaque coral and this is one of the reasons that I thought those lacy drops might go well with this 
So you've got those, and I'm going to go ahead and stick these Lacy Drops in the same container because they are or in the same section because they are that coral red color. And then got some drucks. These the alabaster with the gold splash. No, that's these ones. There's several <laughs> round ones. So they are eight millimeter alabaster with gold splash. And then we've got six petal wild rose flower beads. That's these two. And I'm going to stick these because they are pressed glass and a nice red color. I'm going to stick these right in here with these guys because there aren't that many of them. They're not going to cover it up and I'm still going to be able to see what beads I have in that section. So that'll be great. And we've got some pressed glass ivy leaf beads. That's these ones. Alabaster gold shimmer and silver wash. Unless there's a different... No, these are the ones. These are our ivy beads. those there. Alright, now we've got some green full AB Hawaiian flower beads. That's these. These are probably a little too blue for me to want to use in one of my projects, but we'll see. We'll see. I might be running out of room in here. So we've got some fancy shield links. That's these guys. And there's two of these. They have a hole at the top and the bottom. Or at the bottom and the top whichever way you are going to be having them there. And I'm going to sit those right there up in that upper corner. Way up there. Then we've got some rhinestone and acrylic pearl gold flower charms with sea opal. That's this one. I think I'm going to put all my charms in the same area. So those aren't real pearls, they are acrylic pearls. So they're fairly lightweight. They would make great earrings, I think. Oof. All right, and then there is the enameled Christmas ornament with snowflake charms, and there are two different versions of these. There's red and green. There's the green. And again, I'm putting all my charms in here. And red. They are single sided, and there's four of each of these. Right. Since I am putting away some charms, I'm going to grab these charms that I showed you earlier. I'm going to just stick them in there with these. So that they all have a home. That's the uh, that one and these links. Actually, the links can go over here with these other links. Aha, uh -huh. one more charm. I knew I had one more. Let's get this guy in here too. All right, so now I've got those. So I did add to the bundle. Those other ones didn't come with it, but that's okay, because they, they might still be on the site. 
All right, so we had our snowflake charms and we've got some agate round, wait, here we go. The round beads and goldenrod. That is a 15 inch strand. They are eight millimeters. And I'm just gonna slide this by here so you can see the different colors that we've got in this agate. That's entirely possible that I'm gonna need two sections for this. And then this is the one, this is the other one. This is Malaysia Jade dyed quartz. And these are barrel beads and they are nine by 10 millimeter. They are really, really gorgeous, warm red. I'm gonna lay that down because I think we are gonna need two sections for this one too. next to it so that these can all fit. Just got a little overflow, that's fine. I may not have room for all of my extras to go in there. We'll, we'll keep these separate on that. But we do have a few other things that need to find spaces. Um, I think I have an idea on where to put a lot of these. So there'll still be room in here for them. Anyway, so we've got some four millimeter fire polish round beads and they are in the an olivine gold splash color. And I'm gonna stick them in the same compartment that I have my rondelles and it'll make my own little bead mix in there. There you go. See, so I've got the dark and the lighter green in the same section. I can pull those out and separate them when I go to make things. It'll be fine. And we've got four millimeter druck beads in alabaster curry spice. And that is this one right here. But this one, I am going to put it in the same section that I've got these other drops, like that. And the next one. We've got these bronze ones, they are four millimeters. And I believe I'm going to stick them in here with these leaf beads. Like that. We've got some spacer beads. I'm gonna put the spacers with the bead caps in that section. They are hex spacers, by the way. So they have the faceting along the edges, like that. And then we've got some
freshwater shell beads. These are scarlet. Let's kind of a vermilion color. Very bright red. And I think I'm going to put these pressed glass spacer beads in the same section as these. Again, yeah, these were not in the bundle. They were a separate purchase. Move these around so I can see at a glance that I have more beads in here than just that. So far, it's pretty Christmassy. It's not completely blatantly all just red and green, though. There's a lot of gold, warm, firelight kind of colors coming across, um, which I love. Love that for us. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these flowers in here with the stars. So even though they are different colors completely, I would like to use this section for my pendant. If I can. And it is just... A hematite fan pendant. Like that. It's just graduated. Rods of hematite. This would be fantastic with like either green spacers or some of these red spacers between them in a necklace. Just great for that. Now let's take this off of the wire. Because it's not like I won't know what order they need to go in. All right. And now I'm going to grab these extras that came with the bead box. And I'm going to toss them in here with the fan. There we go. And then these, since they didn't come in that, I'll just set them on top. Or grab them when I'm making with other things. Because um, they'll, they'll come in handy probably for the rest of this holiday season. But now I have my second little box of... Christmas theming things. Um, the first one was the uh, dollar bead box and dollar bead bag. I opened that I think a couple weeks ago. Um, that one is, is one that I'm going to be probably making with today. But I wanted to go ahead and share this bundle that I got a little while ago and some of my finds from uh, dollar or sorry from the, the bead box bargains the sister site for a bargain bead box and these were a fun little bundle that I purchased and then I had a few extra things that I got along with it just because I was in a Christmassy let's buy some Christmas things mood at that time and now I am ready to fully move on and let's make some things with these. Um, I think probably an earring video is in store for us sometime soon. <laughs> but I hope y'all are having a great post Thanksgiving holiday weekend and I will see you around for the next one. Bye!